Why are you here, reading this? April 5, 2019 by Anna Von writes. Many of you are here, because you are in trouble. Or you are afraid that you will be in trouble in the future. You see the coercive power of what we call, the government, and you feel the chill when someone says, FBI, or IRS. You can't even drive home from the grocery store without feeling oppressed and afraid of your own employees. You are here because you know something is wrong, just like the title of my book, You Know Something Is Wrong When. An American Affidavit of Probable Cause. You know or have cause to know that whatever you build, whatever you create, can be stolen from you by soulless corporations and mindless bureaucrats. Even your children can be taken away by these same thugs in nice suits. And that is why you are here, to learn how things got this bad and what you can do to protect yourself. But if you stop there, if you are content with just that much, then you are okay, but the problem remains, and it gets worse year by year. Nothing has really changed. How about your children? None of us last forever. So you have to teach them. They have to learn what you learn, so they can protect themselves, too. Lord knows the government isn't going to protect them. The government thinks its job is to protect itself at our expense. The government has to learn otherwise. We are just a tiny part of the world's population. It's nice that we are making progress and claiming back our lawful estate, but billions of people are still clueless, still enslaved, and as long as they are, is anyone safe? Really? For how long? You see now why you are being empowered and called to lead? To make the world safe and sane again, to turn what is upside down right side up. That's why you are here. That's why you are all leaders. Now, it might not have occurred to you when you started that you were called to do anything more than save yourself from a traffic ticket, and maybe you might not have come, if someone told you, hey, you. You are going to save this country, and right after that, you are going to save the world. But as amazing as that is, that's why you are here. That's what you are being called to do, save this beautiful country. Save your countrymen. And then, reach out and save the world. You can do this. How do I know you can do this? because you are here. What you learn, you are going to share. What we do together, you are going to do alone and with other people, until everyone knows what you know. If you never thought of yourself as a leader, start thinking of yourself as a leader now. Because you are one, a leader, and the change we all need starts here and now, with you. It starts at your dinner table, your church, and your health club. It starts with your spouse, your children, your best friend, and the guys at work. They may not want to hear the bad news, but they will want to hear the good news. And the good news is that the Americans are back, standing on the land and soil, and not accepting any suppositions otherwise. That's good news. It means that the surreptitious theft of our own identities and the theft of our country and our resources is at an end. How do I know that this vicious con game is at an end? Because you are here, and once you know the truth, you can't unknow it. You are now in possession of your heritage and you are beginning to learn who you are and how powerful you are. You've been told that you are stupid. You've been told that you are a US citizen. You've been told that you are in hopeless debt. You've been told that you have to obey your own employees. You've been told that you are a tenant on your own land. You've been told that you have to take IOUs in exchange for your labor. You've been told that you have to take IOUs in exchange for your goods. You've been told that your allegiance is pledged to a borrowed flag. You've been told that you have to give up over half your earnings to taxes. You've been told that the perpetrators of all this are bankrupt. You've been told that that thing in DC is your government. And none of these things are true. Day by day from now on, you are going to rise up and restore the American government you are owed. And so will I do the same. And so will those we teach and inspire to know what freedom is and how our government and the rest of the world is supposed to operate. Being misinformed, being purposefully misrepresented and defrauded, is not a matter of stupidity or politics. It's a matter of premeditated crime. The reason you will push yourself outside your comfort zone and begin talking to people about these things, even those people who don't want to hear, is because you want this to be a good, safe, and decent country again, for your own sake, for the sake of our children, and for the good of the whole world. That's why you, even the least of you, are going to be leaders. That's why you are here, reading this. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more of my article videos.